In this segment, I am going to discuss clamping the part on a lathe. Now we have already discussed it in locating and supporting topic. But what I want to emphasize here is that uh, in many fixtures and jigs, locating and supporting and clamping are different elements. So we have to locate and support a part in the fixture or jig, and then we have to clamp it uh, in the fixture or jig. But in many instances, especially in the case of uh, a lathe, locating and clamping a part uh, occurs simultaneously. Now, this is not always uh, the case for, for a lathe, but many times it happens that we are locating and clamping the part simultaneously. So we discussed three jaw cell centering check. So in this case, we are actually locating and clamping the part simultaneously. So in this case, once the part has been clamped between the jaws, a circular part, this, this one on the right side. So as soon as it is clamped, it is located as well. So we discussed the meaning of locating already that the axis of the part is actually aligned with the axis of the spindle. So in this case, locating and clamping is taking place simultaneously. But apart from uh, locating and clamping the part uh, in, a, in a three jaw cell centering check, depending upon the shape of the part, size of the part and the type of the operation, we can use additional devices as well. So in this case, uh, for a longer part, a pipe in this case, we are using a steady rest to hold the part at the other end as well. We can use a follower rest for long thin parts as well. So the primary locator and clamping device in this case is a three jaw cell centering chuck. Similarly, cell centering collet chucks also locate and clamp the part simultaneously. So as soon as we push the part uh, through the hole in the collet chuck, it is located as well as clamped. Of course, we need to uh, hold this collet into the uh, lathe spindle to perform the operation, but the part itself is located and clamped simultaneously once it is uh, pushed through the hole in the collet. Here is an example of part being located through two centers. So we have a center inserted into the spindle in the headstock and other centers inserted into the spindle into the a tail stock, so using the holes at both ends of the part, the part is located as well as clamped. So the axes of these centers are aligned with the axes of two spindles, so location and clamping is taking place simultaneously. Of course, we can use other uh, devices like uh, a lathe dog and face plate in addition to centers both in the headstock and tailstock, but primarily the part is located and clamped through centers. But in order to provide drive to the work, we are using the lathe dog in this case. And finally, as we discussed uh, mandrels, so mandrels locate the part through a ready-made hole and clamp it as well. In, in addition to mandrel, of course, here we are also using the centers and the lathe dog but the primarily the part is located and clamped uh, through, through the mandrel that is holding the part from inside. So this combination as a whole, uh, the mandrel and the centers are locating and clamping the part in a go. They are, they're doing it simultaneously. So this is special uh, in the case of lathe that in many times, in many instances, both location and clamping Think of other instances as well, but these are some common examples. Thank you.